my whole family were uh, in the military. My grandfather was Navy, my uncle was Army, my father was Marine Corps. I felt like it was, it was my duty to continue the legacy that my family has left. My name is Daniel Sherman. Uh, I was a heavy machine gunner in the United States Marine Corps. I deployed over to Okinawa, Japan, mainland Japan, South Korea. I also got to see the admin side towards the end of my career because I got injured. So I got to see how the command structure from a first sergeant's point of view actually works. The experience I had in the Marine Corps, it was an amazing part of my life that I would do it all over again if I could. While I was active duty, I did get hit by friendly fire. And it, it led to a lot of issues. Once I actually transitioned out of the Marine Corps, I tried to do the tough act and I thought I could handle it on my own. And it ended up causing a lot of issues. I suffer from anxiety, depression, and PTSD, and I wish I would have got the proper help, you know, when I got out. But I know I have support all around me, and I'm finally getting the help that I need. I have one daughter. Her name is Nani Rose Sherman, and she is my world. I was stationed in Hawaii, so I believed it was proper to give her a Hawaiian name. So I gave her Nani. So her name translates to Beautiful Rose, and she is my legacy. I, I see myself in every footstep she takes. I wear a bracelet that has every branch of the military on it. And she knows the Marine Corps symbol, and she knows that that one's Daddy's. So she'll look at my wrist and be like, this is Daddy's favorite, and point out to the Marine Corps symbol. I was living in a one bedroom apartment. I was for a while struggling trying to find a, a bigger place so she could have her own room, her own space. Thankfully, with your help, I was able to finally give my daughter what she needed. She has massive amounts of play area now. She now has a yard to play in. Uh, the apartment I was living in was right on a busy street so she really couldn't go outside and play. Now it's a lot safer and a lot better for her. When Nani first came and she got to see her room for the first time, she was ecstatic. You could see the smile ear to ear. It warmed my heart to just see how happy she was. And every time somebody comes over the house, she goes, you wanna see my new room? You wanna see my new room? The yard, she loves playing in it. She doesn't understand that the creek is cold in the winter time. So whenever we go outside, she goes, go play in the creek. And we're like, no. It's too cold, but during the summertime, I think she'll get a real kick out of playing in, out in the creek. Thomas called me the day before and was telling me that, hey, you have a meeting. We all got on Zoom. They said, congratulations, you're being awarded the house. My heart literally skipped a beat. I was honestly just speechless. I just kept saying thank you over and over again. I could not believe that I was actually being awarded the house and being able to get this chance and opportunity. Home ownership is one step closer to being able to raise my family how I envisioned it when I was in the Marine Corps, when my daughter was first born. Home ownership gives me the, the feeling of completion and you have put that concrete and that sturdiness back in my life and from the bottom of my heart, thank you.